both did that at the same time. All right. But today we are speaking on Friendship Basics 101. For everybody who does not know the Friendship Basics, and you out here being a terrible friend, terrible, and you don't even know it. So we're just gonna jump right on in. We got a couple, you know, you know. <laughs> y'all need a pen and paper so y'all can write this down. Take notes. Um, number one, you should know your friend. Like, you should know what they like, what they don't like, what makes them uncomfortable. What their pet peeves are. Yes, because the last thing you want to do is do things that you know your friend is going to catch an attitude about. And she's going to look at you like, I thought you, you know knew me. me. And, yeah, and like, don't do that. So that's just a general Don't put them thing. in uncomfortable situations. Not at all. That's very rude. That's going to make you not, you're going to be an ex-friend doing stuff like that. So just leave it alone. My thing is, you weren't my friend from the beginning because friends know friends. Yes, exactly. Number two is a very, very deep one. You have to keep it real with your friends. Like, please. If they breath stink, <laughs> tell them. Yes, if their we breath had a bad stink, experience tell them. the other day. A terrible experience. Yeah. It, it was like, you know, on Spongebob. I don't know if you've ever seen an episode of Spongebob. And they but on Spongebob, on where they had, like, his breath was sinking and he had the cloud of green smoke following him. That's how this boy was. And all his friends was talking to him. And I'm like, y'all don't smell his breath? Because we smell it and we were two rows behind. Exactly. So just keep it real with your friends. That goes for their goals, dreams, their side anything. hustles. Like, if you know anything. your friend can't sing, rap, dance, do anything. Tell them. Tell or them. help them get better. But don't, don't be like, oh yeah, bro, yeah. you can rap, you can rap. And they don't trash. gas them if you know that they, they like uh, like if you wouldn't bump their music in your car on a road trip, then you need to let them know, like, bro, you should try a different yeah, beat, like, or maybe you should try rapping about you they know, don't gotta stop completely. Yeah, but like don't bash your friend and be like, oh, like you never gonna be nothing in life. <laughs> don't do that. But I mean help them if they not to their best that you think that they are. It all goes under the thing of keeping it real with your friends. Yes. Um number three. Always tell your friend when you got a problem. Like there's no need. Don't this be walking is, around like, oh, I ain't even gonna say nothing because da, 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 da. if there's a problem, let them know because nine times out of ten, if they don't know, they're gonna do it again, mm -hmm. and you're gonna keep getting mad, it's gonna keep escalating, and you're gonna be sorry because you didn't tell them. And don't go to social media. Like yeah, don't right. go on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, and start talking about your friend. Like, that's disrespectful because you have her number. Like, if it was really, if it made you feel that hurt, you should just text them and be like, I think mm -hmm. we need to have a talk. Because me, I don't even like expressing feelings, but if one of my friends pissed me off, I'll be like, um, we gotta don't have a talk your about other this friends because about your you other me off. About your friend because it's just yeah, that's stuff unnecessary. a bunch of stuff. It's just not... Hmm. Like, if I'm mad at Ashley and I didn't talk to her about it yet, I shouldn't go run to somebody else, like somebody else in our circle, and be like, oh, yeah, she did this, and that pissed mm -hmm. me off. Because then they're going to be looking like... Because nine times out of ten, we're going to get back cool. So then, next time, you know, we come around, they're going to be like, oh, I didn't. I thought you didn't like this. I thought you didn't like her. I thought she did it. And then the truth and comes like, out about what you were saying about that friend when that friend wasn't around. And then that's a lot of problems. So, um, number four. No, wait. It's number oh. four. Just because you get into an argument with your friend, like don't she said, yeah, that don't mean y'all never gonna be friends again. Like, if some, if she told you something in confidence and y'all get into a little argument or even a big argument, if y'all stop being friends completely, you don't go around and start telling a like, business. oh, she like, messed with so and so, yeah, and, and she did blah, 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 this, fresh me, or he did this. This is goals for guys too, but guys are a lot more mature about the friendship stuff because no, they're not. Some of them are. <laughs> no, they're not. The guys I know I'm a lot more mature. Like, they can fight one day and the next they be cool. Like, it's the end of it. Anyways, uh, don't be telling they business. Don't. Because for one, it's not yours to tell. And then you look messy. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay, so. <laughs> for number five. <laughs> um, inner, friend, inner friendship relationships. relationships. Don't, don't do them. Do <laughs> Just don't. Don't do them. They're, um... For y'all who don't know, 
it's basically like if she talks to somebody mm -hmm. and they have a bro, and he's like, oh, like my bro, like he will even try and get with you. Da da da. da. Shift this short. No, no, thank you. Because it's just too messy and it's too much and y'all try to be this big happy family and it's it's unnecessary. And then it's not gonna work out. So let me tell you why it's not gonna work out. Because me and this person might stop talking, but her and the other person might still talk and you know I'm talking to her or just somehow, some way, biz other people's business gets into it. Like I might start talking to somebody new and then that person might find that might find out and it's just, it's and just it was, too much. It's not even none of his business, it's not. but it's, you know. it's And it was in the circle, so somehow it's going to get right. circulated. And guys can't let stuff go, so don't do them. It's unnecessary. You don't need to be hooked up with your friend's boyfriend, brother, like. Number one, if you need to be hooked up with somebody, it's not meant to be. Like, you need to just meet and let it happen. Like, don't try to get no hookup with somebody. That's, that's high school. Look, be spontaneous. Just meet somebody. Um, number six is my favorite because I'm very strict on this. My ring just fell off. I'm like, don't like know your place when it comes to your friends' boyfriends. Like, I don't like girls who are super duper friendly with their friends' boyfriends. Like, not saying you want them or that you would do that for your friend, but like for what? Like why? Like you know, like we don't we shouldn't have each other's number at all. Like, if she had a boyfriend, his number don't need to be... What is his number going to be in my phone for? <laughs> what does he need to text me for, possibly? You know, like... And Unless he wants to do something special for her. Yeah, and if he it's gotta a surprise, get in contact But no, you have to get somewhere. in contact with me through social media. You will not get my phone number. I'm sorry. I just don't... I'm... I don't know about Ashley. I'm just a strong believer in that. I just... I don't like... I don't know. Because if I had a boyfriend, I don't... What are you texting my friends for? Yeah. What are you texting my friends for? What are y'all talking about? And then when we go out, you know, we might go out to the mall or something. And y'all keep my text. Oh, mm. Why? Is that your friend now? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just don't do it. I'm telling y'all because there is girls like me who is going to look like, you want my man. <laughs> and my man might want you. So, um, yeah, know your place. Just... It's good to say hi, hello, like, hi, how you doing? Be respectful, be yeah. cool. Y'all can go out on, like, little double dates or something like that, but... That's fine. Don't be extra. Number seven, steer clear of exes. All exes. All. Ex-texters, ex-boyfriends, You can be like, oh, ex so I get ex da, da, da. I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm not gonna care, but... Yeah, me either. Don't be sitting there having a whole conversation with them, like, oh, yeah, she does da 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 Because it's none of their business. It's not... So, at all. And then, I mean, everybody know not to talk to your friend's ex or no matter how long ago it was. Well, no, no some people don't know. Oh, well, if you don't, there it is. I know people don't like talk to your friend's exes. At all. And, and honestly, let me explain the ex to y'all. Because, again, this might just be a me thing, but I know there's girls out here like me. I'm not the only one. Um, Basically, it's if I had him before... If we caught each other's attention at one time, yeah, they don't have to like date. Yes, like or we could have been talking for yes three weeks. Yes, you're not allowed to talk to him. Mm -mm. Don't ask me if you could talk to him. Like, oh, Cassie, I know it's only like y'all only talked for like three weeks, and a lot of times it'd be me like I don't be wanting to talk to them no more. So they'd be like, well, you you don't want him. Okay, but you can't because have then either. what comes to my mind is when I when, you when I look back, to, it's like mm -hmm. oh, you was looking at him and he was looking at you while he was talking to me, and it's just no, mm -mm. it's real messy. Don't do that. It's, it's, then I'm be like, wait a minute, what kind of friendship do we yes, have? Yes, like so, don't do it. Um, Number eight, don't be hypocritical. Don't be a hypocrite to your friends. I have to elaborate on. This. Because I've been told that I was judgmental. This is the final one. I don't think I'm judgmental. I think I it pisses me off when people, my friends, come to me about stuff. <laughs> and it's like, I know what they've been through. And I'm like, girl, you ain't learned. That's my thing. Like, I'll be like, I get what she's saying. But don't be a hypocrite as in like, if I'm telling you like you dumb for staying with somebody. But I'm, but I'm in a relationship being dumb yeah. too. Like, don't be hypocritical like that. But I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, if you've been through some stuff in the past and your friend comes to you with advice and you mm -hmm. tell her, like, you being a fool, 
You need to like, leave. I've been through this before. This is what you yes. should do. Yes, it's like it's, it's looking out for your friend. It's not being judgmental. Yeah. But don't be a hypocrite. Like if you really is in the same situation as your friend, don't say nothing. That's yeah, when you just, just be like, a listener. Don't give advice. Just listen. Because y'all like, can just yeah, learn girl. from each other at that point. It's just like, hmm. He doing this to you. I wonder if he doing this to me. Da, 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 da. Just listen. So, yeah. I got to add. No, let me add on to that. Because that was the last of the friendship rule. But I got a number nine. <laughs> know, when to, know when to talk and know when to just listen. Like, my sister is great at that. Like, I can text my sister and she knows when I just need her to listen to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not really for her advice. advice. But, like, nine times out of ten, I know what advice you're going to give me. I'm just not but ready to listen to what it. You yeah. do it so you which just is want fine. somebody to listen. Which is fine. So no one to be a listener and no one to be a talk like I ask Ashley all the time, like, so you want my opinion? Because yeah. I don't want to give you my opinion if you really don't want it. I just listen to you and be like, Yeah, girl, that's crazy. You're like, mm-hmm. He should have never did that. Like uh, oh my But I'll be like, I'm just saying you should know the difference between the two. Don't mix them up. So yeah. For Ten, you said do ten? ten. We don't have a ten, but you said go to ten. Yeah, it's I'm trying to think about one. So. <laughs> number ten, number ten, number ten. I'm trying to think. Don't be hypocritical. Stay care of your exes. Keep it real. Um. Mm, I got a good one. Oh be considerate. Be considerate of your friends. Yes. Man. And what I mean by this is, <laughs> Lord, if you know that y'all going out to a club, a party, a bar, somewhere where you got to get cute, and you know that, <laughs> go ahead, girl, somewhere where you got to be cute, and you know how your friend is, and you just walk out looking a mess, just being considerate. You know how that's being inconsiderate? Because nine times that, like, we friends. We, this this is a pair. She look nice, I look nice. Yeah. If she look a mess, I tell. look a mess. <laughs> so it was like, be considerate. Yes, do things as a unit. Don't, don't be, don't let nobody I mean, you can be yourselves with, within, but just be considerate. For example, today, me and Ashley look like crap this morning. And we, we was like, oh, let's went go to, to Walmart the store. And, um. Where else did we go? Walmart, Family Dollar. Shop right. Shop right. Guess what? We looked the best. A hot mess. But we did it together. But it was like... She even seen me put lipstick on. Like, what you put lipstick on for? I was like, I got it. I was like, wait a minute. Why are you putting my lipstick? Yes. You gotta be somewhat of a unit. Like, be considerate of your friends. Don't... You know, don't just be going out looking crazy or having somebody be an odd one out. Like... Yeah. But I understand everybody's different. Yeah, everybody's different. Some people might just... Also, like, with being considerate of your friends, because I do know people like this, like, I'm not stingy when it comes to my friends. Like, I'll play around with you because I'm a low-key bully. Ashley does that. I try to charge her $3 for some chalk this morning. For some chalk. But... <laughs> when it One comes to food, chalk. it's like, like, if you know your friend don't have money, like, to me, I feel like it's kind of rude to be like, oh, you want to go here? Yeah. You want to go... Girl, you want to go to the club? Like, you want to go out to Olive Garden? You know they don't got money. They was just telling you yesterday that they ain't had yeah, money. money. So why are you asking like you're being foul? Don't do that. Another thing, y'all go to the mall, you know, maybe she don't got no eating money. If you got it, pay for your girl to eat. Don't be petty. Because okay, I really yeah. know some girls who we really start like your together, best We start together, we eating together. Yes, I can't do it. Y'all we need to get together. it together. We do. We actually about to make some Alfredo. Cause I try to, look, we got to speed this video <laughs> up for y'all. Cause your girl's hungry. <laughs> but all we ate was cereal. Yeah. Struggle with cereal. But we'll be back with another video. Yes. Maybe in my next video, I could tell them how I eat Fruity Pebbles. I have a method to the way I eat fruity peppers. I don't even like fruity peppers because it gets soggy fast. But, but my, got a method to I where they don't method. get soggy fast. It's so good. So good. You ain't even got to The fact that fast. you got to go through all of that just to eat cereal. But that just, y'all got to tune in for that one. Yes. Because that's. Stay tuned because you might you really need miss. it in your life. That's why you don't want to miss. Definitely if you like fruity peppers and you don't eat them anymore. But. Like. Subscribe. <laughs> 
and comment. <laughs> Let us know what y'all want to see, what y'all want to yeah. hear. Some challenges. Yeah. What challenge did I think of today? I you forgot. thought of a challenge. You thought of a challenge. I think you we was in me. shop right. It like slipped my mind. Yeah, I just mentioned me. it. You don't listen half the time no, anyway. So. Be a good listener if you're a friend. Because she's not. Like me go. <laughs> yeah, she did my eyes today. She real good. See, part of being real, if she if she would have messed my eyes up, she know I would have told her. <laughs> I would have told her, like, I, I, give me a makeup wipe. <laughs> you got to do better next time. <laughs> but I can do some real good yeah, makeup. She can, she can. So, MSU, get at me. Yes. Should we stay tuned with a little uh, flyer and mm -hmm. stuff for y'all? Mm -hmm. Some prices. We need to have special guests. If y'all want to be on our channel, let us know. Yes. Other than that, time to make this Alfredo. <laughs> and scene. <laughs>